Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey Chris, why don't you post more information about Android on LockerGnome.com? We do! As a matter of fact, today we posted part one of what will likely be many articles, the Android Development Series. Uh, this one's going to be about proper design constructs. And I know you're thinking to yourself, ah, Chris, I don't care about Android. Or maybe you care a lot about Android. Uh, you know, software development is the future. And, and the future is here. I mean, if software was where it is today, when I was a kid, instead of my dad wanting to be, be a, a doctor or a lawyer or such, uh, I didn't grow up to be a cowboy. Uh, my mama didn't let me. I'm, I'm kind of grateful for it, not to offend any cowboys out there or doctors or, or lawyers and such. Uh, but software development is a road to riches. If you can develop, you, the, the world is your oyster. You can think of an idea and then make it happen. Or, better yet, you don't even have to think of the idea. If you can make it happen, people who think of ideas will turn to you. So let this just be an introduction uh, to, guide, to set you on the right path. Design is so important when it comes to software and there's been poorly designed software that succeeded largely though because there was a lack of similar software that could help the user accomplish certain tasks this is why uh, the software that you might see in institutions number one is so expensive uh, number two is difficult to use it's not as easy as we've kind of grown accustomed to with software that we might download uh, to our smartphone to our, our computer uh, in, in, intuitiveness is certainly a, a part of software, and, and part of that is having an intelligent design construct. Not to say God had a hand in it, you would have a hand in it. Uh, and we outline here, uh, thanks to Eddie, who has de developed, uh, I believe he's actually developed for uh, uh, certain parts of the Android community, if you like. I'm sorry, I've, I just did a video on, on head lice and gadgets to remove head lice there, Not, now I've got the itchies. Uh, so, there are a few must-haves he notices uh, that you've got to have in your Android application, the action bar being one, fragments, and also tablet configurations. And I think more than anything, uh, th those who have Android tablets would appreciate that. Just think of your audience, right? And having a design that allows you to allow the user to do what it is that you want them to do, you're, you're good to go. What, what more do you need? It may not be the most beautiful thing that's ever been produced, but as long as you have elements in place that allow that user to do what it is they need to do, then you've written perfect software. And I guess perfect is relative. And as long as there's not a lot of competition for the type of software that you're developing, specifically for the Android platform as a part of this development series, uh, you may have a pretty good go of it. Any other Android developers out there? Let's speak up.